So probability is calculated as the uh, the area of the shaded region divided by the total area, shaded and unshaded combined. And so if you kind of think about what it's what the shaded region is made up of, it's made up of that outer band plus that innermost of the concentric circles. So that's your shaded region. And your total region is the shaded and unshaded combined, which is just the whole big circle, right? The whole outer circle. Okay, the information that's provided on this is that uh, each consecutive concentric circle has a diameter that's two feet longer. Okay, starting with the inner one with a diameter of two, which means the middle one has a diameter of four, and the outer one has a diameter of six. So those are the measurements that you're dealing with. Okay, so if you're going to calculate these areas, what we would use for this outer circle, this band, we're going to use its radius. Well, if the diameter is 6, what does that mean its radius is going to be? 3. So we're going to take pi times 3 squared minus this uh, middle, this middle circle. We'll leave the band. The middle circle has a radius, a diameter of 4, so its radius is going to be 2. So we're going to subtract pi times 2 squared. And so here is the area of the band. To this, we're going to add the area of that inner circle. Well, the inner circle has a radius of 1, so we're going to add pi times 1 squared. And that's all going to be divided by the whole circle. The whole circle is just that outer circle, radius of 3, so pi times 3 squared. So if we calculate what we have here, we have 9 pi minus 4 pi. And to that, we're going to add 1 pi all over 9 pi, which gives us 5 pi plus pi is a total of 6 pi over 9 pi. Reduce our fraction here. The pi's cancel. Uh, 6 and 9 have a common factor of 3. 3 goes into 6 twice. 3 goes into 9 three times. So we get our answer to be 2 thirds. So there's a 2 thirds likelihood of picking a, a point in the shaded region. And so in the decimal form, that's 0 0.666 continuing. Again, wherever it tells you to stop if it's, if it's rounding to a decimal. Okay, now, there's an alternative approach to this. And most of these problems from 16 on, uh, you can solve using a, the, this different approach. And the different approach is to use ratio of parts instead. Okay, so if you look at, um, let's say, comparing the um, outer circle to the middle circle. And what would be the ratio of parts between those two? You can either use their diameters or, or the radii that we've labeled here, but a ratio of 6 to 4 reduces down to what? 3 to 2, right? So what would that mean that the ratio of areas between the outer circle and the, the middle circle would be? 3 squared, 9, to 2 squared, 4. So those have a ratio of 4 to 9. Now let's also look at how the outer circle compares to the inner circle. And here the ratio of their parts is going to be what? 6 to 2, which reduces down to 3 to 1, which means the ratio of their corresponding areas is going to be what? 3 squared to 1 squared. And so when you look at this, what you can see here is that the, the smaller circle is 1 ninth the area of the larger circle. The middle circle is four ninths the area of that smaller circle. So if you wanted to see what's left here or as we um, combine these pieces, just like what we did here. Well, if we're looking to combine them, this band is the outer ring minus the middle ring. Well, if you remove four ninths of the whole thing, what does that leave for this outer ring in fractions? It's five-ninths of the whole thing, right? Five-ninths of the whole region is shaded just in this outer ring. Well, but we're not just counting that. We're also counting this middle circle. So we have to add to that. 
And then inner circle is what fraction of the whole thing? It's one-ninth of the whole thing, right? So we're adding back one-ninth of the whole thing. Well, what's five-ninths plus one-ninth? Six-ninths, and we reduce that to two-thirds. Okay. So if you understand the way that ratio parts and areas interact with one another, do you see it's a much easier problem? And it's one that you can solve just some simple mental calculations. 